All right. Hi, guys. Uh, today, I wanted to make a video uh, covering some of the new features that have come to UE5, uh, specifically the features that have made their way into the UE5 main branch uh, if you compile the editor uh, from source. So with that said, uh, a lot of this stuff is definitely still work in progress. It is... Um, so even though it's changed, it might further change. Um, and basically what I mainly wanted to go over is some of the new modeling tools and how, uh, they've improved that there. But I also just wanted to show off, uh, obviously they're still updating the UI. Um, and so like now everything's to the left, we're added color, we now have little highlights on the edges of windows, show you what is in that window, what type of content uh, is in that tab without tabbing over. Uh, it's now a lot easier to see, like, oh, that's a texture, that's a material. They've also expanded this to include the output log uh, since early access. I don't believe that was in there. Other than that, there's definitely a lot of just usability things where they've made it clearer uh, what is what something is. Um, and they've also expanded, like, the drive data uh, cache, you can now see statistics about them, uh, which I do not believe you could before, um, as well as change settings from down here. Uh, and that's something that's still a work in progress, so I'm kind of interested to see where they take this overall. Um, I don't want to confirm like that is finished because it's just been added. Same with like this mode panel just chain, you know, uh, this mobility is now just a drop down. Uh, but one thing that I wanted to mainly go over newly added to the modeling tool uh let's see if we can just go like this so we can get pretty full screen is obviously these have been in the engine since 420 something um and they've slowly been getting additions but i have found that these there's some great uh changes they've recently made uh one thing that did come with uh early access was this lattice tool uh overall i feel like the modeling tools themselves are a lot more stable now and there wasn't too much to show but now we have this uh create a uh, cube group and this is just a basically a way in my opinion it's going to be to level design and block out levels and worlds a lot faster in unreal so with the press of a button we can actually just come here and make an entire world and then we can also hit e go in or add those back now granted, if I had a material selected, it would be signing it. And you can tell, like, so here it got those normals flipped a little bit. Um, so that's where we would just do, we can come in here and fix that by uh, hitting this normals button and just ensuring that the normals are fixed. All right, so I had a crash there, um, but that's still the same point. Uh, right now you have to have another mesh selected to be able to use it. So I do hope that, we're, that that ends. Um, it has the shortcuts right here. Overall, it's really useful. Uh, so say you wanted to quickly block out your world, just come here uh, and use these tools to now block out your, your level really fast. Um, right, so now we have this whole world. We can fix any normals if we need to. Um, and obviously it then gets lumen support. It gets um, all this stuff where, and if we directly assigned materials um and we can actually it's now just a static mesh so we can treat it with any of these other buttons so we can subdivide it we can simplify it we can sculpt on it if we needed to because now it's just a mesh in the world um but to me this uh, is something that they added that greatly replaces the need for like bsp and i imagine that's why they're adding it and i can see this as being something that's just the start of uh what they want to get done with it uh because there's obviously a lot of possibility here especially ones that are better than bsp which won't be too hard uh because at this point bsp are showing, pretty much showing their age right uh the nice thing is obviously you can see right there that we can basically just undo redo all we want uh right now there is one thing that i think needs to be maybe updated you have to know a little bit of math if you want to get your your block size right rather than just since it's a box i think we should just input 100 um instead they're doing like power of two plus this uh and it's just some weirdness in my opinion uh, so like we can't uh so like the default block is 100 but then we can obviously make our own grid size but to me since it's just a block and maybe this is where we'll see maybe more than just a, a box uh in the future uh maybe we can do this with meshes themselves um i'm not sure you know i don't want to guess where they're 
intent is. Uh, but we can basically just take that. And now we have this mesh. Uh, and we can do it again and again. Um, and the nice thing is, obviously, like I said, we can use all these tools uh, that have already existed here. And with that, I wanted to show one last thing. And that is, so now, uh, they started it just recently. So it, I imagine this window is going to go away. But there are now some auto UV tools uh, built into uh, the editor as a separate plugin besides the modeling tool. So the modeling tool has had these UV settings for a while, uh, but now there's one that you can enable in plugin, and we can actually have a full-blown UV editor uh, in inside the editor where we can come here, control where the island is. We c so far, I think we don't have manual control over the island, unless there's a shortcut key that I just don't know. So that is something, and then, but we can auto unwrap, and they they're slowly moving those tools from modeling tool to in here. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like complete, uh, because this plus that those building tools, we can kind of get a lot done and have a lot of power in editor where we never kind of need to leave. Uh, you can imagine using this to make like a stone pathway, going to the UV tools, making you know a corner piece so that it it turns correctly, and Kind of just staying in editor, right? And uh, having it where your white boxing, gray boxing can all happen in editor. Export that mesh directly to whatever your 3D modeling software is, and use that to uh, as your final model, right? And just replace it because it becomes a model in the editor because this is now a model in my content browser. It can then be you know just replaced and saved over. And yeah, so that is what I mainly wanted to show uh, because I felt that was it's some really nice tools. Um, there's obviously a lot here that I would love to get into and love to show, uh, beyond this. And I can't wait to see what Epic has in store for them. Or I mentioned it too, uh, these all, this works on existing meshes as well. Uh, so obviously we can add it, but we can use this to, uh, extrude inside of a mesh. So say we were making an actual, you know, this was our actual mesh. We could use this to uh, then make a hole in it. One tool I would like to see is in the seam editor at the moment. Uh, while you can add seams, uh, you cannot remove them. Uh, or at least I haven't found a shortcut to be able to remove them. Uh, I feel like this would help out a lot. Uh, especially with this auto-generated stuff where like, uh, like I don't need a seam here in the center. But that might, uh, you know, break a mesh, break a, break a material's look, because there's a seam here, especially since they use the seams to generate the uh, UVs in a lot of the cases, depending on how you generate it. Um, this would allow us a lot more control. I think that's one of the next steps they could take, besides obviously expanding the tools that are already here. Uh, anyways, I hope this helps out. Um, if you want to see more, uh, in the future, I'll be making some more videos on the progress that's been made and some of the, there's a lot of changes that have been made in UE5 that just have not been yet, uh, obviously they're not finished, so, uh, there's gonna be more videos that aren't necessarily, you know, like come with a little warning that whatever it is could change. Um, but anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button.